Well, it's time to go back to Lisa Fernandez now. And Lisa, we know you're a kid at heart and you're in a dream location then this morning. OK, Libby. Fire and Emergency Services Education and Heritage Centre. That's where I'm at. It's fire station number one on Murray Street uh, in Perth. OK? It's going to be open all this weekend as part of... It's going to be open on Sunday as part of um, Heritage Perth, which is so fantastic. It's where Perth's old buildings are being opened and we can go and have a look at them. Now, Richard Offen is the Executive Director of Heritage Perth. Morning, Richard. Good morning. Thanks for dinging the bell. That's a pleasure. Not the first time we've been in a red light district. Uh, well, we weren't going to mention that. OK, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us why should Perth people head out and go to these buildings which are going to be open and we're going to have access to and all that sort of stuff? Well, fantastic buildings like this are part of our heritage. Yep. They're part of our sense of place and they tell the amazing history of yep. Perth, which goes back 40,000 years. And we've got lots of exciting activities going yes. on in a whole range of places over Saturday and Sunday. Fun for all of the family. And here is a great place oh. to be. Oh. Lots of things for the youngsters to do. So Even good. rides on old fire engines. Oh, rides on old fire engines. So they're open Sunday and we're on Murray Street. And just want to mention, Richard, we're actually going to be... Today, Perth News are actually going to be at Government House tomorrow. And they're open on Saturday evening. You can see oh. Government House by night. And we're going to take you through it in the morning. Richard, thank you for that. That's Pleasure. wonderful. Be a part of this. Now, I'm going to take you, kids, if you're at home watching, have a look at this. A big fire truck... From, I'm going to find out from where I think it was the 50s, with two firemen who are obviously not from the 50s. Uh, but uh, Bill and Jeff, good morning, gentlemen. Morning. morning. Now I'm going to have to put this in front of you. You're going to have yeah. to talk up. <laughs> Tell me, you guys are volunteers. Yes. Yeah. That's right. <coughs> and you work here. What do you do? Well, basically, just showing people around, yes. um, the children and that sort of thing. Also, visitors from abroad, of course. We get them from all over the world. Now, Bill, you're uh, a fiery in uh, the UK. OK, yeah. Yeah, I, I retired here, yeah. Yeah, but then you came and you worked in movies when they needed firemen to be there for, uh, like, Harry Potter? Yeah, yeah, Harry Potter and a lot of the major films as well. <laughs> you still have to have fire cover. Either. OK, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. And, Jeff, hello. Hi. Now, you're an Aussie fireman. Yep. Did they, um, did they have a fiery calendar back when you, you worked? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you're nice no, in that lease. A long time ago, no. <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. All right, because you would have made the fiery calendar, don't you reckon? No. <laughs> Uh, month 13. Month 13. So, so explain, what, this fire truck back here, gentlemen, what, what is it? Uh, it's a, no, it was commissioned in 1956 yes. uh, from the UK. It's um, a Dennis with a Rolls-Royce engine and it served here until 1970 when it was taken off the run. Yeah. And I can't believe that it, back in the old days in Australia they actually used horse-drawn carriages to put out the fires. They had to because there was no cars back then, those. And, and so how would the water come out? How? Yeah. They started with, with hand pumps. Yeah. Then went to steam pumps, then motorised pumps. Wow. And don't the fireys have it easy these days? They just get out, they get in calendars, uh, spray a few things, they get back in the truck. Um, hard job. Hard job. Hard no, job. it is a hard job. No, I understand. <laughs> now, Jeff was telling me that he always watches every morning today Perth Dead News, right. don't you? Dead right. Yeah. What do you like about it? Uh, just the whole, the whole program. It's good. You know, the whole concept. Yeah. This is Perth. 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 Well done. OK, so the kids can come here and you guys take school groups around, don't you? Yeah, yeah we, we, we help out that they have trained teachers, but yes. we, we assist them as well. And, yeah. OK, what, what, what are the kids like most, the old fire engine or the new fire engine? They like the new fire engine. Have a look at that. You can see that fire engine over there as well. And they, the kids can actually put on the costumes, um, Lib, and they can put on the costumes and they can get in the fire truck and they can ding the bell and there are the costumes there and it's fantastic. And this place is open Sunday. They can meet these two guys and get in the truck. Oh, I'm in love with this place. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. Now, Lise, we, we spotted a, a fireman's pole in the background. Do you reckon maybe no. during the weather? No. Ugh. Not going to do, do it? Do you know how high that pole is? <laughs> do you know how... All right, I'll check it out. And you're wearing a dress high. or a skirt today. And I'm in today, a skirt. So why, don't, right? why don't you... Maybe get, you can get the outfit on. Yes, they want me to get the outfit on. All right, let me let me work it out. OK, I'll try and work They want me to go up the fireman's you, pole. You've how got a few minutes. I'll leave it with you. Thanks, Lise. OK, thanks, Libby. Thank you.